Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Gina DeVecchio. While the campfire in Butte County has continued to burn for over a week now and the smoke around the state is just getting worse and worse. Unfortunately, we are seeing that here on the central coast in the Salinas Valley. You can barely see down from Soledad as that smoke is so thick. So in the valleys, more smoke limiting your visibility, but around the coast, we also have a little bit of fog mixed in as well. Taking a look at the current air quality from earlier this morning, look at these terrible conditions from Redding all the way down. Sacramento, the San Francisco Bay, and even including our region. You can see an area of unhealthy and then also the unhealthy for sensitive groups, meaning keep a close eye on your kids, your parents, grandparents, and anyone with respiratory issues. Limit that time outside. As you know, even normal people who don't have issues are still feeling it, and that is unhealthy for your lungs as well. So as we go through time, we are going to notice a little bit of an onshore breeze. So winds coming in off the water should help us out just a little bit. You see this forecast model expecting good quality. I don't quite think we're going to be seeing good today, but maybe better than yesterday in some areas. Unfortunately, in the evening hours, though, we're still going to be seeing this air and smoke getting trapped in the lower atmosphere near the surface in the overnight. So it's really the overnight hours that are going to be very poor, and that's expected to continue into your Sunday. We're hoping by Sunday and Monday we'll start to see some upper air level uh, winds begin to shift and hopefully we'll see improving conditions. You can see this model by Sunday barely showing any unhealthy conditions, but still going to be on alert all the way through the weekend. So action meaning spare the air, do not burn fires and limit your time outside no matter what your conditions or age. And then Monday, Tuesday, hoping to start to see uh, that air quality get a little bit better. For today, you do see the marine layer near the coast. So we're going to see a mix of some fog and smoke early and then making way to sunshine, but we are going to see the smoke across the area as well. Temperature 46 degrees right now, calm winds, relative humidity pretty high, so that is some good news even across the state. We looked at it earlier, that number is getting higher, which is good for our the fire conditions. Temperatures right now ranging from, look at that, 36 in Hollister to 48 in Watsonville, many 40s on your map this morning, and we are going to see that getting a little bit warmer in the next few hours, but overall cool temperatures. So if you are heading outside, do cover up a bit as it is going to be chilly to start. And then by the afternoon, temperatures mainly in the 60s near the coast, 70s inland. Taking a look at your future cast, you can see no major changes through the weekend. We are seeing a little bit more moisture, just like we expected. That's a good thing. Then we're going to watch this next system kind of slide south of us. Unfortunately, looks like it's going to lose some of that moisture across the area. Um, but hopefully bring some down south. But it's the next system we're watching that potentially could bring us some rainfall as early as um, Thanksgiving. We'll take a look at your local forecast coming up in just a bit, but here you can see your entire eight day forecast really cooling down by the middle of the week. So we're seeing moisture coming our way, cooler temperatures, shift in the winds by the middle of the week, maybe even the potential for some rainfall as early as the Thanksgiving holiday. That is unreal. I we'll know. Keep our fingers sure crossed. Sure would be nice. Yeah, I know. For sure. All right, Gina, thanks. Thank <laughs> you.